So the tools that I was talking about, you can find those is OWASP.org website. So remember, we're talking about source code analysis tools here. So we are making an assumption that code that you write, you have the source code, and you want to make sure that it doesn't have those vulnerabilities. So you're going to run it. So you obviously have the source code. You run it through these tools. A lot of times, if the code is not written by you, it's coming from somebody else, you may only have the binary. And then you know some of those tools that require source code or do source code analysis obviously won't be helpful. So discovering those vulnerability in binaries is where reverse engineering and all the other skills come in. But attackers, for example, would take binary code and try to discover vulnerabilities in it. And we do that in one of the lab courses we teach here. Um, people put the attacker's mindset, given a piece of binary, how do you find out if it has, let's say, some potential overflow kind of a vulnerability or not? But if you have source code, you writing the code, and you want to do believe in secure coding and so on, if you work for a company, part of their software development process may include reviews and passing those code through these kind of tools and so on. It's a problem that we all recognize. We all recognize the importance of writing secure code. And these analysis tools can help you identify potential vulnerabilities, mistakes that you may have made that could result into these kind of things that we've been talking about. So spending a little bit of time with these is a good idea. And that's going to help you write more secure code.